Tonight on V10 o'clock news, Sky 4 flying over a major animal rescue today from what's being described by authorities as deplorable conditions with more than 100 people helping out. I knew that the situation over there was probably serious, but I had no idea um, how serious it was. And this all happened at a home on Old Jennings Road in Orange Park. And so far, more than 100 dogs, 42 rabbits, 33 chickens, several goats and pigeons were found on this 10 acre property. Yeah, the rescues lasted the entire day. It's actually expected to continue for several more. All of the rescued animals were told are sitting in quarantine at the Clay County Fairgrounds. That's where they're also undergoing assessment by a number of volunteer veterinarians. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny joining us live on Old Jennings Road and has new information tonight. Yes, tonight we are learning several neighbors, including people who would occasionally walk or jog past this home located or this property located just across the street here uh, from where I'm standing, had legitimate concerns about the animals because of the constant noise coming from the property. But none of the neighbors we talked to uh, had any idea of the number of animals that were on the property until they saw those animals being removed. Caught on camera, a pig making a run for it. This is one of the animals removed from a home sitting on 10 acres of land after investigators say more than 100 animals were living in filthy conditions. Authorities say a majority of the animals were dogs, some of which were pregnant. A lot of them are the smaller breeds, smaller dogs. A criminal investigation into possible animal neglect began a few weeks ago when someone inside the home called 911 for a medical emergency. First responders reported the number of animals and the living conditions inside the house. A neighbor who asked not to be identified for fear of retaliation says there has always been issues involving animals that lived on the property. Is it just hearing animals, smelling animals, or all of the above? It's kind of almost all of the above. We've had situations where animals have gotten out multiple times, multiple occasions, and just hearing whatever animals that are over there, it's kind of been a worrying situation. A situation involving a large number of animals that Clay County authorities Authorities are not accustomed to handling. But this is one of the largest operations they've done with the, the varying amount of animals that we're dealing with today. Animals that require a lot. Beginning Tuesday at 9 a.m., a call center will open for monetary donations to help care for the rescued animals. The county is also asking for donated items such as dry and wet dog food, leashes and collars, dog toys, dog shampoo, and puppy pads. Also on the list of needs is volunteers who have experience with animals. Emergency management officials say they are already receiving calls from people who want to help. As for the neighbor I spoke with who was concerned about the animals. I think there's also a bit of relief there to know that um, it's being handled. Now, all the animals that were taken to the fairgrounds will remain there for two weeks under a mandatory quarantine. But depending on the criminal investigation, they may have to stay there between four to six weeks before they can be put up for adoption. Also, we have uh, a link to the Amazon wish list for the animals on newsforjacks.com. Reporting live in Orange Park, Eric Avigny, Channel 4, The Local Station.